Flooding problems are moving north as the snowpack starts to melt. A look at one creek that's causing problems in Spink County just ahead. Plus, surveying the flooding from above, we find out how people are using drones to get above the flood water. And while many areas have to have too much water, that doesn't mean grass fires couldn't spark. A closer look at this video coming up. Welcome to Kelly Land on the Go for Monday, April 1st. Some areas could see rain and even snow today. Let's send it right to the Storm Center for what you can expect in the forecast. Well, we've been following some light snow across northwestern South Dakota for this morning, and that will continue the travel to the southeast. There's a chance a little uh, light rain may mix in from a time or two. Here's a look at our outline as we are putting things together here in the Storm Center. We even have areas of fog this morning across south central and southeastern Kettleland. I mentioned that light rain and snow will move from the northwest to the southeast. Warmer temperatures tomorrow, but many locations still above average. By Friday, that will change. I think we'll have widespread 60s by Friday. More details ahead with meteorologist Brian Karstens in just a couple of minutes. Thanks, Scott. New this morning, a motorcycle rider is recovering after crashing last night in eastern Sioux Falls. It happened around 1030 on Highline Drive behind the Target at Dolly Farms. Sioux Falls police say the motorcyclist was speeding and lost control. He was taken to the hospital and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. He was also cited for reckless driving. Also from overnight, crews responded to a grass fire east of Sioux Falls. The call came in just before 11 last night at Arrowhead Park. A crew from the Split Rock Fire Department responded to put out the flames. No word right now on how the fire started. Authorities in western Kelloland say a 6-year-old girl has died after falling from the top of Falling Rock west of Rapid City. The Pennington County Sheriff's Office believes the girl's fall was an accident. It happened around noon Mountain Time Sunday. Authorities say the body is being held pending further investigation. It's finally feeling like spring, but every winter people die in harsh conditions in our area. They may be abusing substances or homeless. Police say even one person dying of exposure is one too many. Kelly Angela Kennecke has been looking into these deaths and has tracked down the family of one man found under the viaduct. We'll have several stories on this today leading up to Eye on Kelly Land at 10. Also today, while some areas are working to clean up from recent flooding, others are still dealing with a lot of water. Take a look at these pictures from Spink County. This is a view of State Highway 26 west of 281 southwest of Redfield. Highway 26 is closed because water from Turtle Creek is covering the road. The Spink County Emergency Manager says the creek was expected to crest yesterday, but it could still take a while for the water to go down. Meanwhile, in Sioux Falls, now that the threat of flooding is going down, many people are wondering what to do with all those sandbags. The city has opened up several drop-off locations at Sherman, Riverdale, and Tomar Parks. The drop-off locations are open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and will be available until April 13th. The flooding isn't over for other areas of Kelloland, and while water-covered roads can make it hard to see just how bad the flooding is, some are taking to the air to get a better view. Local officials and private citizens are utilizing drones to get above flooded areas. Andrew Alberts uses his drone to take a look at the water around Del Rapids. It's a lot easier and to me I feel like it's uh, sa safer, you know, rather than putting yourself, putting yourself out there. He lives just outside the city and is hoping that his footage can be used for helping people in the future. If you have any footage of the flood, by phone or, or, or drone. We would like to see it. Just send any pictures or videos to you share at Kelloland.com. Brian? Yeah, still dealing with a lot of high water, that is for sure, and still melting snow, although this morning the snow depth here around Britain is about maybe seven to nine inches. We still have some snow, of course, north central South Dakota, and that will continue to melt. But a day like today is probably a good day for slow melting because we certainly have a dose of clouds and even a little bit of new snow. The amounts here are not heavy, but we do think Pier will be prone to some of that through midday and into the early afternoon. And then eventually Sioux Falls, a little bit of a rain-snow combo this evening. A little snow that could coat the grass white, but not likely to be anything too heavy here. And then tomorrow we'll start melting that away. The big picture going into Wednesday, another system coming down the pike, but a lot of that goes south of us. And then hold on, here we go, the end of the week. In case you haven't heard, look at this. Temperature forecast 63 by Friday, nearing 70 in a few spots by Saturday. And yes, we might toss in a couple of thunderstorms here and there across Kettleland. So that definitely is springing 
in action here, isn't it? Uh, the season upon us, and I think it's going to start feeling like it with 71 and Pier on Saturday. Low 70s also for Rapid City by Saturday, guys. All right. Thanks a lot, Brian. And thanks for joining us for Kelly Land on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelly Land. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on KelloLand.com. Now go have a great day.